South-South cooperation amongst developing countries in the Global South is gaining momentum in the international community as a complement to North-South development assistance, along with triangular cooperation which brings in one or more traditional donors into the equation, its potential to promote innovation, collaboration and self-reliance amongst countries has been widely recognised as effective in helping to achieve development goals. Agencies including the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization, the African, Caribbean and Pacific Group of States and the Francophone Organization are actively incorporating South-South and Triangular cooperation into their work programs. South-South cooperation is about the exchange of development solutions, technology, knowledge between countries of the South. We believe that countries of the South have many solutions that they can share. They are facing the same type of development challenge, they are facing the same time of constraints. So we want to be sure that they share among themselves. We have very good example. We have countries like Brazil or China that have reached a certain level of development and are wishing to share their solution with others. Mm, the, the, the real benefits that doing this is that, as I said initially, that they are common challenges. You know, it's easier for someone who has the same similarities that we have in our countries, for instance. You, you can have a country like Mozambique, for instance, having a problem on youth in, in terms of access to finance or access to the same job in, in, in the South. You know, it's, it's almost the same in other countries of the South. So that's why I say that this is real, I mean, uh, uh, something that is yeah, very, very important for, for us. Experts, academics, activists and country representatives gathered at a major symposium in Brussels to highlight how both South-South and triangular cooperation could be used as key mechanisms to empower women and youth in the agricultural sector. The symposium is like a marketplace, marketplace of ideas, a marketplace for networking, a marketplace for the initiating of partnerships where people would see how they can work together to think more about seeing development in a new way. But it is building a certain amount of self-confidence and that self-confidence is an attitude that helps us to go in the direction of overcoming the dependency. We must first have the confidence in ourselves that we have the resources and when we have that we will scale the highest mountains. What areas or themes or topics or partners are prepared to scale up, to go to another level in terms of what they want to accomplish from this experience in a particular area? The focus is on how these development models can strengthen women and youth through jobs and entrepreneurship in rural development. Women, for example, comprise about 40% of the agricultural labour force and play a crucial role in food production, as well as in food processing and the marketing of produce along agricultural value chains. Um, la coopération sud-sud, elle est importante à la fois pour les femmes comme pour les jeunes parce que nos pays sont des pays de jeunesse. Souvent, 70% de la population dans nos pays du Sud a moins de 25 ans. Et dans nos pays du Sud, souvent, dans l'économie informelle, ce sont les femmes qui portent cette énergie, qui participent de la croissance. Et les femmes disent toujours, sans nous, ce n'est pas possible. Et les jeunes disent, si vous nous mettez de côté, ce n'est pas possible non plus. Donc, nous avons en commun les mêmes défis, mais nous pouvons aussi partager nos expériences et nos solutions. Et c'est là où on voit que, par exemple, sur un problème vécu aujourd'hui au Brésil, vous avez une expertise qui peut venir du Sénégal, comme c'est intéressant, de renverser le fil de l'histoire et de se dire, voilà, sur un même problème que nous vivons, nous pouvons aussi mettre en commun nos savoir-faire, nos expériences, nos accomplissements, nos capacités de penser des solutions. Experiences and best practices of people on the ground practicing South-South and triangular cooperation development models within their own countries and regions can be refined, scaled up and shared with other countries. 
Um, the program was basically developed to improve what the children ate um, on their plates and to involve local farmers in the procurement of foods for the children. So it was basically to look at the nutrition component but also for the creation of employment um, because what we realized is that most of the food which the children ate was actually imported foods and so a lot of our money and foreign exchange was actually going out and we wanted to figure out a way to let that stay inside and also benefit our farmers. Therefore, Africa is the destination and most of them are interested in working with Africa. Therefore, we partner with this other, with um, Asia and Latin America to transfer technology to Africa. Another example in, in this regard is that our partner, the Conseil Couture Nakad of Côte d'Ivoire, partners with the Ho Chi Minh City University from Vietnam to develop equipment school, processing school in Côte d'Ivoire. I spoke about currently our project being in four West African countries and Mozambique. Our lesson from Mozambique is in the processing sector. This is because Mozambique also had been leading within Africa in processing. Therefore, we learned a lot from Mozambique. We transferred knowledge from Mozambique into West Africa for new investors in the sector. As there was also a focus on youth empowerment due to the fact that the vast majority of them live in less developed countries, up to 89%, and face enormous challenges such as insufficient access to knowledge, information and education, and youth's limited involvement in policy dialogue. Uh, youth are vital actors uh, in the debate on South-South and Triangular Cooperation. And if I can give the example of uh, the uh, African, Caribbean and Pacific Young Professionals Network, which I founded in December 2014, uh, we are de facto actors acting every day to facilitate South-South and Triangular Cooperation. It's not just important for youth to be uh, integrated in programs and projects but youth have to be integrated all through the policy making process and moreover we're, we're very pleased to continue the conversation because we believe that youth we are not just the leaders of tomorrow we are the leaders of today there's a lot of bilaterals that happen between the countries uh, b2b meetings uh, one of the things that we are very proud of being able to do is demonstrate uh, excellence uh, and that is uh, when these delegations come together, to, whether that's bilaterals or annual summits, we take them to these case study models to show them in that respective field how things in that country are being done well. And to be able to learn from them and go back home and replicate them and so on and so forth. So essentially, one of the main themes of Kai Asia is to be able to create more job creators than job seekers. The ACP Symposium on South-South and Triangular Cooperation generated a draft action plan setting out key priorities, mechanisms and focus areas for action over the next three years. Let's say the issue of empowering women, uh, tips of capacity building, the institutional support in, uh, for, for, for different, uh, there are the three uh, mains among others. Uh, areas that we, we, we have to, to focus in. We have also a possibility to include other projects that were not presented in this symposium, but we think they, are, they have a added value to be scaled up and to share with other countries. Yes.